shot for the kill, the breeze cut, freeze up, straight drop in the chills, I'm talking. I'm turning dreams into reality, in the lab with the formula in chemistry, the memories spark and motivate, and make the industry shake, we put the bars in the place, I'm talking one off, one shot, now the future is yours, go! Yeah, it's one off, one shot, now the future is yours, go! Beautiful day, actually, obviously. So, so excited because we're heading into the settlement. I have my client's gifts ready to go. Obviously, Tiffany Blue <laughs> for a big closing day. So, really excited. Closing day. Let's come on in. This house is so pretty. So, this is right in the U Street corridor of DC. And these clients were first time home buyers that came to me through a referral and they actually secured an amazing deal. We were negotiating for a couple of days and this was originally listed for 1.15 and we secured this spot for 1.138. So my clients got a really good deal. And on top of that, we also negotiated some of the repair credits for the home inspection. So today we closed on their first home and it's really exciting because being a first time home buyer, you know, there's a lot to think about, a lot of moving pieces, especially on a deal of this size. But also, like I said, with the market being so competitive right now, for us to have gotten the deal when we got it was amazing and our timing was perfect. This home is actually considered a condo, even though it's a town home style condo. So really it lives like a home, which is amazing. It has a front space where my clients will be able to enjoy and then also obviously has that open concept feel that buyers love these days. So. Here we are in the kitchen, and the kitchen was updated in 2013 because this was recently built. So that's another amazing thing. Hard to find in DC for this price in this location, but really nice because they don't have to worry about some of the older qualities that some of the buildings in DC do worry about, like lead paint or lead water or anything like that. So this is the kitchen and stainless steel appliances you have uh, granite countertops. And if you didn't notice, the ceilings are about, I would say like 13 feet. They're very, very tall. So really nice light coming through that front bay window area. I absolutely love that front window. Come on through. The other thing that I always tell my buyers I like is when there is a half bath on the main level because then your guests don't have to worry about coming into your bathroom. So that is excellent. And one thing my buyers really liked about this. So come on upstairs. This is the primary bedroom where you have an ensuite bathroom and you also have a very large walk-in closet over here. Absolutely love all of the details in this room, like the crown molding is really nice. Come on in here. Here is the bathroom that is en suite. I love this bathroom because you have double sinks, so his and hers, uh, which is really nice to have. So if you're getting ready, you can have your space and whoever else could have theirs. You also have this large bathtub that is surrounded by marble, which is really nice and just very clean lines and very chic. You also have back here the shower, which is nice too. So if you don't want to take a bath, you also have the option to take a shower. Again, marble inlining and really nice. So love this bathroom. So now we're going to head down to the basement, which is two bedrooms, one bathroom over a thousand square feet. Really great space. I absolutely love the cozy living area down there, which will be perfect for watching movies and just hanging out. So anyway, I am super excited and we're gonna close on it today at 
afternoon. So check it out. And as you guys know or may not know, tomorrow I actually close on my own home too. So I'm really excited about that. Like honestly never thought that would happen. I help people buy homes all day for themselves. So to be doing that tomorrow, I'm super excited and I can't wait to share it more with you. All right guys, so here we are in over Randolph Ave in Milton. I call this the Spanish house project. So my client Vicky bought this property in January 2nd, 2020. She's been renovating for over a year this property. She's had a little issue with the contractors not showing up, whatnot. Um, since, you know, COVID, whatnot. And construction stayed firm with work, which it was great for a lot of contractors. But for this specific contractor, caused her a major delay. We actually had this property under agreement to a MLB player. Um, due to the time frame that he wanted this house, he backed out. She didn't want to move forward. Then we negotiated back again to get the deal done. Long story short, ends up to be that he backed out 100%. Just the fact that the contract is taking too long and the quality of work he was doing. She fired the contractor. She had a new contractor now uh, that's doing more, way better work. But now it's going to be her dream house that she wanted. Um, the way I actually got Vicky as my client was through her sister. So her sister's a real estate investor. I've sold over 10 houses for her in the past, I want to say 20 months. So she was like, oh, you know, my sister is looking for, you know, a high end property under two and a half million. And you know, she prefers Milton. So we started, you know, looking around and whatnot. So I got in contact with the realtor I know who had the listing. And we actually toured this house three times before she moved forward. Um, the first agent who had the listing, we toured once. And literally probably like a week after we wanted to do a second tour, um, the seller fired that agent, which I felt really, really bad. Because it was like, you know, if it wasn't for her, I would have never got the the heads up on this property so but we negotiated i negotiated something with the seller for her to get paid a little fee since she's the one who brought us in for the property so the way that i follow up with my clients is as you see i just you know come to the properties make sure everything's going fine if she needs any assistance i can give her one of my contacts for example she needs a finished carpenter i forward her my finished carpenter contact information my plumber and they're doing you know hell of a job on her current renovation so what i really suggest for you and for everybody in sales in general is basically follow up um your follow-up is a major key for your business to be successful so definitely follow up even when you think you have a client that is not thinking about selling just follow up, follow up once a month and that will give you long as way. For example, I follow up with her once a month and then last week she was like, George, I want to sell one of my business. She owns a liquor store here in Boston. We actually just finished doing the pictures and video and that's going to be going on the market in the next couple of days for, you know, 1.75. And then prior to that, I actually sold her liquor store out in Medford that she also reached out to me because I did such a great job negotiating this deal for her to get the house that she has given me over four deals in a year and a half. So, you know, four deals just because you follow up, it's a no brainer. So my suggestion for you and for everybody is follow up on your business and your clientele and you'll be fine.